The National Space Organization (NSPO), Chinese: Pinyin: formerly known as the National Space Program Office, is the national civilian space agency of Taiwan under the auspices of the Ministry of Science and Technology. NSPO is involved in the development of space technologies and related research. Topic: Organization. NSPO headquarters and the main ground control station are in Xinchu, Taiwan. The NSPO is organized as follows. NSPO also has numerous laboratories such as System Simulation Laboratory, Thermal Control Laboratory, Microwave Communication Laboratory, Data Processing Laboratory, Attitude Determination and Control Laboratory, Electro Optics Laboratory, Structure Development Laboratory, Electrical Power Laboratory, Multi Layer Insulation (MLI) Laboratory. Topic: Taiwanese Rocket Launch Program. The NSPO developed several suborbital launch vehicles based on the Skybo-2 surface-to-air missile. There have been six to seven launches as of 2010. Topic: <laughs> Taiwanese Satellite Launch Vehicle Program. Little has been publicly revealed about the specification of the ROC Taiwan's first launch vehicle for small satellites SLV. It should be able to place a 100 kg payload to a 500 to 700 km orbit. This SLV will be a major technological improvement based on existing sounding rockets and will consist of four solid propellant stages with two strap-on solid rocket boosters. Therefore, it will be in the same class of the Indian SLV-3. The inaugural launch is scheduled to take place during the second phase of the 2004-2018 space project. Diurchi Taikong Ji who are placing a Taiwanese-made satellite into orbit and after the preparatory launches of 10 to 15 sounding rockets. Tan Kong Huodian. Topic: Taiwanese designed and built satellites. Topic: Formosat, formerly ROCSAT. The FORMOSAT, Fuermo Sharwazing name derived from Formosa and satellite, formerly ROCSAT, Zhonghuawazing equals Republic of China, rock plus satellite, sat. FORMOSAT-1, formerly ROCSAT-1, communications and ionospheric research satellite, launched in January 1999. FORMOSAT-2, formerly ROCSAT-2, ionospheric research and surface mapping satellite, launched May 2004. FORMOSAT-3, cosmic constellation of six microsatellites to perform GPS occultation studies of the upper atmosphere. Collaborative project with U.S. agencies including NASA, NOAA and the University Corporation for Atmospheric Research, launched in April 2006. FORMOSAT-5, Optical Earth Observation and Magnetic Field Research as a successor to the Japanese Raimei mission. Cooperation with Japan and Canada. Launch was originally planned for 2011, it was launched in 2017. Topic. Others. Yamsat series of Pico satellites, volume 1,000 cubic cm, weight roughly 850 grams, designed to carry out simple short duration spectroscopy missions. Originally planned for launch in 2003 by a Russian launch vehicle, but cancelled due to political pressure from the Russian government. Aris JAXA mission to study the inner magnetosphere, launched 2016. Taiwan provided an instrument. Topic. Planned missions FORMOSAT-7, Cosmic-2, constellation of 12 small satellites to perform GPS occultation studies of the upper atmosphere. Collaborative project with U.S. agencies including NASA, NOAA and the University Corporation for Atmospheric Research, launch is planned for 2017 and 2019. Topic. Developments and long-term plans 
The first phase of Taiwan's space program involves the development of the human and technological resources required to build and maintain three satellite programs, which is expected to be completed with the launch of FORMOSAT-3, COSMIC by the end of 2005. Currently, the spacecraft and instrumentation are designed and assembled in Taiwan by local and foreign corporations and shipped to the U.S. for launch by commercial space launch firms. The NSPO, the military, and Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology have also been working on the development of a sounding rocket for upper atmospheric studies. The second phase is scheduled to take place between 2006 and 2018. It will involve an emphasis on developing technological integration and miniaturization capabilities required for the development of constellations of microsatellites, as well as encouraging growth in the local aerospace industry. Since 2009, NSPO has been working with university research teams in developing innovative technology to improve the overall efficiency of hybrid rockets. Nitrous oxide, HTPB propellant systems were employed with efficiency boosting designs, which resulted in great improvements in hybrid rocket performance using two patented designs. So far, several hybrid rockets have been successfully launched to 10 to 20 km altitudes, including a demonstration of in-flight stops, restarts. By the end of 2014, they will attempt conducting suborbital experiments to 100 to 200 km altitude. There have been proposals to elevate NSPO's status to that of a national research institute, however such plans were under debate legislative yuan as of late 2007. <laughs> <laughs> 